Hello, hello, Dr. Cliff, your movement recovery specialist. If you, a friend or a family member, just had a knee replacement or are planning on having one in the next few months, this video is for you. I'm going to share with you four things to do and probably more importantly, five things to avoid to give you the best chance of a great outcome. Number one, do work on your range of motion, both at home and in therapy. The sooner you can get your leg to go the whole way straight, what we call extension, and bend to at least probably 120 degrees, definitely over 90, the faster and better overall your recovery will be. Number two, don't get rid of your walker or cane too soon. Trying to walk without this the day or two after surgery and hobbling around like this doesn't make you get better any faster. It only puts more stress on your knee and slows down your recovery. Use the walker. It's safer and it takes pressure off your knee so that you'll have less pain, can work on walking properly, getting that leg straight like in number one, and have a better overall outcome. Number three, don't compare yourself to someone else, or even to your other knee if this is the second time you've had a knee replacement. Every surgery is different. Every person is different. Don't say, oh, you know, my neighbor Jack, he was back playing tennis in six weeks. Well, your neighbor Jack might not have had a knee replacement. He just is telling everybody that because he doesn't know the difference between uh, meniscus surgery and a knee replacement. Or he may have had a knee replacement, but he's just in tremendously good shape and he was on a ton of pain medication and he has all kinds of other side effects from that. So. Don't compare yourself to anybody else, and don't compare yourself to some other surgery you might have had on the other side of your body. Number four, do stay ahead of the pain. Whether that's using ice regularly, whoo, that's cold. Or taking your pain medication, don't think like, oh, I don't need any of that. There's a reason it's prescribed, at least early on. Also, make sure you take pain medicine an hour or two before you come to therapy. I've heard this rumor, it couldn't be uh, uncomfortable. No, seriously, knee replacements, unfortunately, are still one of the recoveries in therapy that I see that is very uncomfortable early on for most people. So take some pain medication before you come to therapy and the therapy will be more effective and less uncomfortable. And then we'll ice it up afterwards. Number five, do perform those crazy home exercises that your therapist gave you. There's a reason to do them. It'll make your overall recovery faster and easier. And if you don't do them, we know. Because the stuff we give you in therapy is going to be a whole lot harder. Number six, don't be afraid to ask the orthopedist or the physical therapist or any of the other healthcare professionals in these fancy white coats questions. It's your body and this is an all new experience for you. So we wanna make sure that you are comfortable and understand why you're doing what you're doing because you'll be more likely to do it. And if you do this stuff, then the overall outcome will be a lot better and it'll be easier for you. Ah, number seven, while we're on the topic of other healthcare professionals, don't forget to tell your dentist and some other healthcare providers that may not know you had surgery that you had a knee replacement. Especially at the dental office, it's very common that you'll need to take antibiotics 
before you have any dental work done to avoid side effects that are not very nice, like an infection that could go from your mouth to your knee, which is bad. Number eight, don't limit your expectations. You can kneel, you can bowl, you can play golf, play tennis, run marathons. Don't tell your orthopedist I said that one. Go skiing. There's a reason that you had a knee replacement. To decrease the pain in your knee and to get back out there and live life. So don't limit what you think you can do. Number nine, do remember that over 90% of people that have a knee replacement have a great outcome. The first six weeks are gonna be tough. They're the most painful for almost everybody. At three months, you'll be happy you had surgery. And at a year, it'll feel like your own knee. You'll forget you even had surgery in many cases. I'm Dr. Cliff. If you like this video and you're new here, please uh, consider subscribing. We have videos like this on a weekly basis that give you information about different health and fitness subjects. If you're already a member, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share this with uh, other people that you think would be interested. And remember, Life is a strength sport, so get stronger and get living.